Inside Tennis with the Cause is brought to you by Firkins Automotive. Find it at Firkins and by Lakewood Ranch, named the fourth best-selling community in America. And by Nature's Right, natural products that work. Hi, tennis fans. The Cause here with another half hour inside the world of tennis. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. The Jeep Celebration event is on at Perkins Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. We've got new Jeeps as low as $119 a month, new Grand Cherokees only $239 a month, or drive a new Wrangler Unlimited for $239 a month. Hurry to Perkins Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram in Bradenton. We believe in families, in barbecues on Sunday afternoons, in PTA meetings and staying up late helping with homework. We believe in lifelong friends, in knowing your neighbors, in passing down traditions through generations, in having a place you want to call home. In Lakewood Ranch, we believe in community, where we love to live and laugh. This is our town. This is our common ground. You know how important it is to warm up and stretch out your muscles before you begin running, jumping, and swinging a racket. Well, muscle honey is a blend of herbs designed to increase the blood flow, lymphatic flow, and flexibility of muscles so that you smoothly transition into activity. What's more, it contains pain relieving herbs to help you push through boundaries and herbs to keep you from cramping up during periods of high output. It's not greasy or smelly, and if you rub it on all over, your muscles will be supple and pain free for hours. Now, that's a competitive edge. The Jeep Celebration event is on at Perkins Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. We've got new Jeeps as low as $119 a month, new Grand Cherokees only $239 a month, or drive a new Wrangler Unlimited for $239 a month. Hurry to Perkins Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram in Bradenton. Hi, I'm Jimmy Arias, your Inside Tennis with the Cause. Hi, tennis fans. Great as always to be with you. Wow, what another great event, the Dick Vitale Lakewood Ranch College Tennis Classic, played on clay courts out at Lakewood Ranch. Congratulations to the University of Florida players. In the men's singles championship, it was captured by Andy Anderdee. On the women's side, Josie Coleman captured the women's title, had a great time with legendary coach, our friend here in Sarasota and around the world, Nick Bolletieri and broadcaster Ray Collins, a zealot of tennis. Also had some great time with coordinators Paul Letterman, Chris Marquez, and also Ben Friendly at this world-class, highly recognized tennis event. Had a great time covering My Game Solutions, Sports Made Easy in Morristown, New Jersey. This is a very impressive online community that connects players, coaches, and clubs within seconds. On to some Senko's player recognition. Laurel Oak Tennis Director Ty Browswell's boys keep winning the titles and the invitations. Michael Browswell won the Bobby Curtis State Boys doubles with Martin Chase and also the mixed doubles with fellow Sarasotian Paris Hudson. Younger brother Noah will represent the USA in Paris with the world's best at the Lay Petite International. Great to attend the Palm Air send-off to longtime legendary coach in Sarasota, Greg High, and his wife Susan, who manage the Tennis Pro Shop. They're retiring after 20 years of service at Palm Air and retiring to Ecuador. So what's on the show today? We've got another great one for you. We're going to Austin, Texas for the Little Mo Nationals. We're going to New York for the Women's Tennis Coaches Association Conference. We'll catch up with recent International Tennis Hall of Fame inductee Kim Kleisers and former Sarasota resident, the legendary Martina Navratilova. And also spend some time with our boy Dan in Venice who turned 50 years old recently and finished in the top five of the National USTA Clay Court Championships, Adam Zestempowski. So let's kick it off with the Little Mo Nationals in Austin, Texas. This former Little Mo champion won the 2003 U.S. Open men's singles title. Andy Roddick 
the most recent American male singles player to win the U.S. Open singles title, as well as any other Grand Slam singles championship, along with his actress wife, Brooklyn Decker, and their one-year-old son, reside in Austin, Texas, home of the Little Mo Nationals. You're inside tennis with the cause. Nestled in the beautiful Texas Hill Country, about 25 miles from downtown Austin, the preeminent Austin Tennis Academy, with its ATA College Prep, has produced many champion tennis players, along with some of the highest achieving academic standards. The highly respected Austin Tennis Academy has been the proud host site for the Little Mo Nationals, presented by Wilson. And K-Swiss. Jack, another great year with Austin Tennis Academy and Little Mo. What's that marriage mean to the Academy? Well, we're really proud of our relationship with the MCB Foundation. We've had a long-standing relationship uh, for over 20 years. So hosting Little Mo Nationals is uh, one of the highlights of our year. This place produces not only champions on the tennis court, in the classroom. I was speaking the other day with one student who was going to MIT another exploring the military academy. How much pride is there in the academy here? Well, of course, uh, one of the greatest uh, joys of our uh, lives here is impacting kids' lives in a positive way. And, you know, last year we sent kids to uh, uh, University of Chicago and to Virginia and to Dartmouth, and we've sent kids to Princeton in the past. So uh, those sorts of college placements are surely off the charts and certainly making a, a great impact in their lives and who they're gonna be in the future. So that's what we're all about here. A standing tradition at the Little Mo Nationals and Internationals is the opening parade of states for the Nationals and countries for the Internationals as all players parade with pride. Like when y'all have the parades at the beginning of the tournaments, you actually get to communicate with the people that you know, meet people from different states, and just get to know them better and maybe you'd see them in another tournament. Well, cause to your point, I cannot believe it's been 20 years and I just know that mom would be thrilled, absolutely thrilled to have seen how her vision with Nancy Jeffett in 1968 just took root and has grown now through our little Mo tournaments for 20 years to have a place for these young, talented, gifted and elite players to not just be competitive, but also to learn character skills, to create friendships one to another, and just to have fun. And fun, along with fellowship and sportsmanship, is the theme at all Little Mo events. Other than the tennis, what do you enjoy most about the Little Mo? I like the parties. Very interesting. Lots of food. And it has lots of fun, too. What I enjoy most about Little Mo is that even if you don't win your matches, they still make it a fun experience, including the player party. The trophy presentation, the players party, the matches, everything. One of the things I really like about Little Mo is making new friends. What I like most about it is like being with other people, playing against them, seeing how they play, and it's kind of really fun because you get to see what other people do and how to fix your mistakes. Well, Tad, the Little Mo has many special stories. I think you have one of the most special stories. You're on the phone with somebody very famous. Who was it, and how did that happen? Um, it was Novak Djokovic and... Who? What? Novak and... Um, it was fun talking to him because you're like, you feel like you're famous too, and you, 
you talk with somebody famous that you want to become and it's fun to talk with people like like famous like they're famous I have really good sportsmanship and it's just good yeah I like it I think it's it's just a lot of fun and you know you get to play without having a lot of pressure um it feels like an honor uh I never thought I would be here. Biggest trophy I've ever won and um, it, the competition's really fun because um, there's a lot of nice people here and the sportsmanship like everybody's super nice and nobody like everyone plays with the rules and it's just a lot of fun. Oh, this is a great tournament. The competition level is pretty high here and I just love you know, to see my son competing with all these good boys. It's right here, the camaraderie, meeting new people, and uh, the fun experience the kids have in competing in a fun environment. It's different from other tournaments. I'm very focused on good attitude for the players. So at least this is a really important, I think, for these young players to learn. And it's just amazing the, the sportsmanship you see here and the friends they've made all over the country. I think it's a great atmosphere for kids to I, really just kind of, all the work they put on the court, just kind of sit back and enjoy and watch them play. I think Lil Mo is the best tournament for kids all over. The best players party, Lil Mo coins, and an excellent tournament, the best ever. It is truly fabulous. And I love Cindy's speech, her blessing. Absolutely, every athlete in the United States should hear that blessing. I went up to her later and said, I remember her mother playing because I was t about eight years younger and she was everyone's idol. And always that wonderful, sweet personality, but boy did she want to win. LA Tennis Club, Pacific Southwest, she played them all, of course, and always won. How much pride is there in the Academy this calendar week when you bring in the Little Mo? Um, it's truly a significant event. It's, it's, a, it's an impactful, empowering event that, that I went through as a, as a father and a coach with my children for 15 consecutive years uh, in Little Mo. And uh, I just think it's that first place where these players put a target on something that's significant and they want it and they, and they, it's esteemed. And once you achieve it, it's something that's a, it's a last you a lifetime. Henri, Fernando, what an evening of entertainment. My goodness, there's no generation gap at all. From 95 down to five years old. How gratifying is that to put this show together and make tennis fun? Yes. Well, I've been hoping to do this all my life, and so far I have. So um, I'm still able to, uh, you know, after 40 years now of uh, starting the show and doing it all over the world, 38 countries and about four different languages, uh, the message is starting to get around, I guess, that uh, tennis is fun and uh, it should be that first and foremost. And then if you happen to be good, then you can go out and play, uh, you know, with the, uh, with the big boys. From the slams down to the Little Mo with young kids, Fernando, you've been doing it 20 years, two decades, 40 plus years for you, Henri. You are a great coach. I never knew until tonight. <laughs> How much fun is it to make this guy look good? And it depends on your feed, I know that. Not only in the feed, but the, the, the uh, words that we talk to each other back and forth. I mean, his job is to find, to find words to make me crack up. <laughs> and I'm sort of like the Dean Martin, he's the Jerry Lewis, and every time we get on the court, it's like a brain surgery. We don't know what's gonna happen. No. And it's just amazing how we have to just evaluate the program and evaluate the kids. And today's the kids were just awesome. Well, I mean, I think, first of all, the level is so wonderful to see this 8, 9-year-old, 10-year-old, you know, 11, 12, I mean, playing such a high caliber tennis. But I think the spirit, I think, is what I love about this tournament. It's about character, it's about integrity, it's about competing. But the spirit is just so beautiful here. I love how tournaments offer more than just what kids are doing on the court, like other tournaments most of the time. It's just playing, this is more family organized. I love to have opening ceremony, motivational speech by Lil Mo Dodder was outstanding. It was fun for kids and then yesterday also players party, it's, it's great. Let's go fast forward on the calendar to Palm Beach Gardens. You know what's happening there? You got a shot at something, don't you? Tell me about that and what that means to you. 
I can win a six foot tall trophy and it means everything to me. They call it the Grand Slam. How do you spell Grand Slam? Dominic Masejic? Okay. <laughs> You know how important it is to warm up and stretch out your muscles before you begin running, jumping, and swinging a racket. Well, muscle honey is a blend of herbs designed to increase the blood flow, lymphatic flow, and flexibility of muscles so that you smoothly transition into activity. What's more, it contains pain-relieving herbs to help you push through boundaries and herbs to keep you from cramping up during periods of high output. It's not greasy or smelly, and if you rub it on all over, your muscles will be supple and pain-free for hours. Now that's a competitive edge. We give you the power to save more than ever before during Ram Power Days at Perkins Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. Get up to $13,000 total savings on new Ram trucks. Lease for just $2.99 a month or get zero APR for 72 months. See Perkins Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram in Bradenton. We believe in families, in barbecues on Sunday afternoons, in PTA meetings and staying up late helping with homework. We believe in lifelong friends, in knowing your neighbors, in passing down traditions through generations, in having a place you want to call home. In Lakewood Ranch, we believe in community, where we love to live and laugh. This is our town. This is our common ground. The Jeep Celebration event is on at Perkins Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. We've got new Jeeps as low as $119 a month, new Grand Cherokees only $239 a month, or buy a new Patriot for just $14,999. Hurry to Perkins Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram in Bradenton. Tennis fans, thanks for staying with us. Always a joy to catch up with champions. And champions these two are Kim Kleisters and Martina Navratilova. First of all, congratulations on your induction to the International Tennis Hall of Fame. You're here on the Champions Court, but now you're a champion coach. How's the academy making you feel these days? Um, it's, it it uh, fulfills a lot of um, feelings that I still have. You know, I still love playing tennis, and I think it's, um, you know, as a past player, I think it's my, you know, almost my role to try and, and bring that passion onto the younger generation and uh, to try and, you know, create, you know, our academy is not the biggest, but we try to make it the best, and, and we try to really, you know, have a lot of personal, you know, um, programs for, for, for each individual, and, uh, and I think that's, you know, how I, how I would have liked to, have been in an academy and, and I try to just really show that you know to the to the kids there. Martina, 22 years ago, just over 22 years ago, you were in Atlantic City with the return of champions, you and Monica Sellis. How special of a moment was that for you? Well, it was just, uh, I felt um, I felt privileged that I was able to help get Monica over that hump of coming back onto the tennis scene after the horrible uh, stabbing that she went through in Hamburg two years pr 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 before and uh, she you know wasn't sure she really wanted to play so I kind of helped her. You were there. I helped convince her that she should and then uh, and, uh, and, and that match I think uh, she realized okay I can play. She went on, winning the Canadian, getting to the finals here she against Graf. The, you know, she would have won the U.S. Open that year, I'm convinced, if they had the challenge system. She hit an ace, they called it out on a set point, the first set. Then she won the second set, and she ran out of gas, lost 6-11 in the third, I think. So had they had the challenge system, Monica would have won the U.S. Open. I'm as sure of that as I'm of anything. Yeah. I'm in your yeah. camp, you know that. Adam Zestempowski, what a week you had at the USCA National Men's 50 clay courts, finishing in the top five. Any surprises? Uh, it surprised me for sure. I, I had been, uh, I just turned 50 this past year, so I've been watching this tournament for a number of years here and uh, kind of hoping to get my chance at some point to play it. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I was... Uh, I had prepared a bit, but not uh, not expecting to go that deep. Yeah. Top five, and you beat four guys inside the top ten in the country. And here you are, first national tournament of this extent. 
how gratifying is that to work hard? Now, I know that you kept everything balanced. You're running the club here at Jack Aranda West, but you're sneaking out a little practice with the local talent, and the local talent that pulled you through. Uh, yeah, yeah. Very, uh, very happy. I've got a couple of great guys that I hit with down here on occasion, and uh, I, I just never know. You never know how much you're gonna, your body's going to tolerate during an event like that. And uh, I, I think the amount I did seemed to be uh, enough to get me through. Yeah. Well, I know from the past, when you have a good win, when you have a great tournament, you want to do more. You want to play the circuit. How eager are you to get out there and show everybody you're for real? <laughs> I, I would certainly like to follow that up and not uh, let that just be a fluke one time. Uh, and yeah, yeah, it's a, it was a lot of fun actually just to get out and see a lot of players that I really hadn't, uh, some guys I hadn't seen in 30 years. So that was, uh, that would be fun as well, just to you know, go around a couple of different places and, uh, and do that uh, in other parts of the country. And what is it like to be here as part of the team promoting women in tennis? Oh, it's been absolutely incredible. Um, just uh, people coming up to me, all, all coaches from all walks of life, all over the world coming up to me and thanking for putting on this event. It has been absolutely incredible the amount of uh, support that we have right now. And what an impactful mission statement this is. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, Sarah Stone has uh, done an incredible job. Um, she's really been the force behind it, and she asked me to be the president of the WTCA. So we're just uh, getting the ball rolling, and we've got great things coming. When you have tennis in your blood, as you do, you can't turn your back on it. You are coaching your son right now. Thad, what is that like? How much fun do you have together on the court? Oh, Ty and I are having a great time, but I'm also uh, coaching Francesca Di Lorenzo, and she uh, played in the qualifying here at the U.S. Open and had a tough match against Nicole Gibbs, lost 7-6, 7-5, and uh, she's in the main draw of doubles playing with Allie Kick, so I will be out there this week with her as well, and I started her when she was 10 years old, and um, it's been absolutely uh, an incredible journey, and I'm very proud. Emma, how exciting of a weekend is this for women's tennis? Oh, exciting isn't even the word. Uh, you know, just to have a platform for people to have a voice is really important. And uh, I've known Sarah since she was 13. We used to play doubles together, club tennis, and uh, I would do anything to support her and her vision and her team. And what she's been able to create and put together has been really special. So, yeah, just excited to be here. Emma, in your own vernacular, share the mission statement. So for me personally, I'm all about how do we um, attract, keep and coach girls in tennis and how do we raise the workforce of female coaches as well as, you know, both educate males and females on how to connect girls with tennis. So it becomes their lifelong sport and that is, that's why we're all here. And here's our Place Sarasota Magazine tennis calendar, November 14th. The National USCA Senior Father and Son Clay Court Championships at the Landings. November 18th, Bangor Junior Level 7 Tournament with Seku Bangor. November 20th, Inspiration Academy Junior Level 7 with Ashley Hobson. November 22nd, and don't miss this, the Eddie Herr Invitational at ING. November 28th, Longboat Key Senior Clay Court Championships with Alan Thompson. Tennis pros, mark your calendar for Saturday, November 18th. Join tennis legend Dick Stockton and me at the MacDill Air Force Base as Dick offers his boots on the court tennis clinic for the troops and their families. If you want to be one of the clinic pros, email me, thecause at bellsouth.net. Time to give away our Lakewood Ranch tennis package giveaway drawing, which includes Three sessions on the court with clinics with Paul Letterman's staff and a one-hour private training session with the Kaz. And you know that I'm looking for a new national champ, and it could be you. Let's see who it is. Claudia Deval, congratulations. We will be in touch. Yes, I think this could be the national champ. Stop by the Lakewood Ranch Information Center at 6220 University Parkway or 11506 
Rangeland Parkway to register for our bi-weekly drawing. Hi, I'm Paul Witterman, Director of Club Operations here at the Athletic Center at Lakewood Ranch. Um, I want to talk to you lifetime tennis players, lifelong tennis players, about what you can do and some of the precautionary steps you can do for the uh, tennis elbow and golfer's elbow. Uh, tennis elbow is to the lateral, lateral epicondyle, uh, golf elbow to the medial epicondyle. One of the main things you should start off by doing is make sure you have the proper strings. I'd go with a nice soft string, go down in tension, make sure you always have a dampener in your racket. I happen to like to go with the rubber band, it, uh, it still kills the vibration. Um, but it doesn't ha it has a little different feel to it. And remember players, get a good warm up, hit the ball out in front of you, and do a lot of smiling. Hi, my name is Chris Marquez. I'm the head tennis pro here at Lakewood Ranch Country Club. And today I just want to talk to you about a little bit of a tactical pattern. Uh, the one thing I see a lot on, on the court is hitting to the obvious spots. Playing the cross court, which is all the right guidelines you want to uh, execute in the middle of match play in, in singles but the one thing I stress with a lot of my players that are singles players is to look to change directions on the on the first strike anytime you get a ball on the baseline or inside the baseline and you're on and you feel neutral or offensive and you're in good balance pull the trigger and work on going down the line change things up a lot of times people run to the open court or to the obvious spots and you can be the first one to make that adjustment and that'll lead you to winning the point. Thanks. Tennis fans, great to have you with us on Inside Tennis with the Cause. We love our sponsors and you will too. Stop by and see them. Until then, remember in tennis scoring, love means nothing, but love of the game means everything. Keep alive your love of the game. Love you tennis fans. And we'll see you right here every Saturday, 1230 on SNN. Inside Tennis with the Cause has been brought to you by Ferkins Automotive. Find it at Ferkins and by Lakewood Ranch, named the fourth best-selling community in America. And by Nature's Right, natural products that work.